Nicolet Forbes, this little angler, the fisherman from St. Lucia, knows a little bit more about science than you do, isn't it? Have a look here, let me show you quick. Have a squiz. Welcome to St. Lucia Experience, recorded here in St. Lucia Beaches by Petrus Vivius and his favorite beach partet. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful sunrise here at St. Lucia Ingwe Beach this morning. This is Petrus Vivius with your water level update. It's going to be difficult today because all the cell phone towers is down. No electricity, no Eskom. I'll see what I can do. I'll do the video and it will upload as soon as the cell phone signal is available. Look at this beautiful sunrise. It goes all the way from Appel on the south and it reaches all the way to First Rocks in the north. It's been a long time since we have had a beautiful winter morning sunrise like this. No, the Infolosia River mouth is, does not breach it. Sorry guys, no good news there for you yet. Oh, let's take a moment and say thank you that we've seen this happening one more day. What a privilege. This is Petrus Vivius. I'm here at St. Lucia Ingwe Beach parking area. Now this is estuary water pushing into the parking areas. Just give you a guys an idea. The scientists forgot to tell you or they lied about it or they deceited you, whatever they want to call it. That with the Moina the estuary mouth was open. The ocean pushed in at 9.1 meter. And with Gamede in 2007 the estuary mouth was closed, the ocean pushed in with 8.4 meters. Nowhere is there recorded in the recorded history is there proof that the estuary mouth opened with rain only. It was always mechanically opened back to the 1402. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it, Minister Barbara Grisi. Yes, it's me, Petrus Vivius. I'm standing here on the R618 at the weakest point of the interest into St. Lucia if you go via Pongola to Transvaal or come via Pongola to St. Lucia. St. Lucia, Cape Vidal, uh, pretty much. Um, that means the Shishlui and Flozi Game Reserve. Sodwana, Monguzi, Cozy Bay is open for this Easter. Our road access hasn't been closed. Once it closes over here, then we've got a problem. Then we don't have road access to St. Lucia, but it's still intact. The vehicles are still driving over it. So there's no problem for Easter yet. Uh, the rain that's coming this weekend is rain and thunderstorms, not a cloud burst. So up perceive it will only be in the evenings we will have either cloudy days or nice sunny days during the daytime guys come and enjoy your easter if you're already booked if you haven't booked you're not going to find accommodation see you on St. in St. Lucia on easter what's level update yeah it's a bonga craft market is in Mangalisa wetland park at the bridge the entrance to St. Lucia let's have a look what's happening here remember the SOS video Everybody laughed at me, said I'm crazy, the place is not flooding. Yeah, it's because they are sucking the Mflozi River up one honey sucker at a time. Guys, what we see here is Mflozi Water River pushing in to the wetlands behind Siabonga Craft Market. Now, in my SOS video, I said that Siabonga Craft Market was flooded. And somebody at the Wetland Park Authority Infrastructure Management, Maintenance Management said I'm talking BS, it's not true. But legally as far as legality goes, as soon as your foundation is wet, your structure is considered flooded. This foundation has been wet for a couple of months now. Okay, this is now behind Siabonga Craft Market and offices this is the water level here I don't know how these people work with all these mosquitoes they donate blood to the mosquito population now right over there we can't argue this anymore ne? 
this building is flooded that is the damp creeping up from the water that's been stagnant here for a couple of months now on 27 december 2021 i made a video calling it the sos video because i know that predictions work that you have to open the estuary mouth on the summer rain but they didn't and now we had winter rain and look at the damage that is busy causing now guys i'm not going to take a walk down to the estuary mouth because it's not going to look much different there there it can rise another meter and it will still not make a burp into the ocean here we've now get to the saturation point where everything is now all the nooks and crevices is now full this is some fallacy water that you see here oh is it i see the honeysucker is busted it's not keeping up with the overflowing of the drain here <laughs> time guys what we see here is Infalosi water river pushing in there's definitely an increase in sewage or is it now Infalosi water here when i made the sos video they said to me it's far from flooded the infrastructure manager of isimangaliso wetland park try to make a fool out of me in public oops there's a step under the water here Petrus be careful you're gonna fall face fall face first in this look at the increase in water level here this morning it's about five inches about five inches in increase since this morning that I was here just before 10 and now my delta mouth prediction that i made in this very office here remember the meeting that you had here in 2012 i called you out i said it's not gonna work and you said that i'm an underqualified fisherman that just want to kill fish hmm. in my whole lifetime and in my children's lifetime we can't kill what you've killed here in since 2017 I knew they were recreating a Des Moines, but I didn't know they were going to see it through. I truly believe that this minister's parliamentary task team would have advised the minister this is what is going to happen. And the minister would have prevented this from happening. <laughs> Look, the water is not even over touching the foundation anymore. It's now someone flooding the building. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Check at the bubble swimming here where the people are supposed to get onto the boat. It's flooded completely. Look here. Hey? This is now shutting down the foreign tourist market for St. Lucia Estuary completely. Let me show you. This is the access to the to the estuary launch cru <laughs> cruises. It's just fun as that can still operate. Look, these guys are shut down. Look, look, you can't get onto the jetty. Look. Can you believe it? <laughs> can one stupid little fisherman from a fisher village be so right? Look, I can do a flow rate measurement for them for River entering the system. Right here at the parking area. I don't even have to get out of my car. I can do a flow rate and the sediment density count here. Right here. Nicolette, you can host yourself in that office. Walk onto the deck, do a flow rate and a sediment <laughs> density count. You don't need even have to walk down to the beach to do it. <laughs> now this is the entrance the, to the magic it's among Lisa wetland park this is the entrance to the magic and that is the, <laughs> the water the water level at the bridge as a youngster i used to sit under this bridge and catch salmon well actually prawn but we call it salmon catching salmon but anyway sorry richard <laughs> But this place is so stuffed now that I think all the, we can take all our skeletons out of the cupboard now. It won't matter, huh? It looks like the apocalypse. Jeff Gainsford, you always wanted the 
the estuary to be lined with reeds. I see you also got your, your wish came true, eh? Look, it killed all the mangrove swamps. It's now it's now turning into acacia. I wonder what whelks will 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 acacia will sustain. It won't be mangrove whelks, that I can guarantee you. Dear old, dear old Andrew Zulumas. Look what you've accomplished. You've turned your father's hard work of many, many years into a freshwater swamp. Congratulations, sire. Sire, congratulations. Frankie Two Socks. Remember you used to work from Kula Village to do a water level update almost daily when we still believed that the rainwater can open the estuary mouth. Remember those days? Do you think there's enough water now? <laughs> Do you think there's enough water now? Do you think we, we need a little bit more water? Look, it's still flowing into the estuary. Hey? It's still flowing into the estuary. Just look at all the reeds that's been swamped by the water. We created the human demonia. And this is going to be far worse devastating than demonia was ever. Because with demonia, the estuary mouth was open. Beautiful sunset here at the bridge. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. Just look at the jetty. That's where the Santa Lucia and all the small vessels and the Advantage Cruiser departure from. It's now impossible for them to have estuary cruisers. Look at that. There is a strong inflow to the north here. I wonder if I can catch the current flow on the camera. Beautiful sunset. Let's have a look at the sunset first before we worry about the water levels. You can basically feel the water flowing but there's no reference point at the moment. Anyway, that concludes today's water level update. See you guys tomorrow at the estuary mouth. We'll see if it breach. We can put a waiver on it. I've got 20 pence it won't breach. Good night.